when we were kids, things were a lot simpler. Plain Jane, pure and innocent. Sometimes not so innocent, but we said our sorries, hugged it out and moved on. We laughed, moved, danced around, sometimes carelessly, mindlessly, and freely. Not a care in the world of what others may think of us. Perhaps maybe the others are also dancing and moving freely just as much as you. As we grow older, our egos grow. We go on protecting ourselves, guarding and guarding and guarding and guarding. But from what and from who? Protecting the light within ourselves. Protecting our innocence from a world that takes and grabs our ego is our best friend, yes. But never let it consume you. No. You are making a mistake. It is there to protect us, yes. Not to control us, no. Scorpio, welcome to your reading and welcome to Aries season. Let's go ahead and take a few deep breaths. I'm going to start us off with some affirmations. I had written that it was a expressive writing. I think it was in November, either November or December of 2023. And I felt the need to share that with our Scorpios as your intro to your reading. Okay. I'm going to put that aside and I have some notes here. Let's keep up with those deep breaths, Scorpio. And I apologize in advance if I'm sounding a little out of energy. I'm a little bit drained and feeling a bit drained, drained at this hour. Um, trying to keep up with the pace, but I feel like I'm going a lot slower than I am faster. So just bear with me. I am also feeling a lot of irritability, rage, frustration, fire. And that is also what we are going to talk about here. Scorpio is um, fire and water combined. Okay. Fire being it airy season and water, which is your element, Scorpio. And what happens is when we have fire and water come together, we get a lot of passion, a whole lot of it. And depending on where you are operating with yourself, a lot of that passion is going to come out voluntarily. I believe it has gotten to a point where you are letting go and releasing and expressing voluntarily. Okay, take this as it resonates. Scorpio, it may not resonate to all. Let's pull a affirmation for our Scorpios. I also have some notes here for you guys. This all came to me last night when I was in bed right before, right before bed. And all of the messages came to me so suddenly. <sighs> I feel heavily on the irritability. I feel heavily on the frustration and could be this fire that you're feeling in your tummy. Scorpio, I am also suggested to let you know to look into healing your solar plexus. I know that I cannot change 
the past. Some things 505 on the timestamp. Some things that you are feeling regretful about. I'm getting the word resentment as well, along with this card. I understand that everyone has their own unique path and challenges, judgment. I'm getting a lot of dark energy, okay? Let's pull up another one for our Scorpios, please. Scorpio, the importance of being treated right as a child. I accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly. 555, five, five, when I said that on the timestamp, number five could be significant. Um, going back to what I was saying about looking into healing your solar plexus, Scorpio, I feel like that is of significance in Aries season. Um, this image I'm getting of fire in water. Okay. That may be why you are feeling a lot of this irritability. I'm getting that it for some of you it feels brand new like you you have never felt this much irritability and it's coming up more in this season and a lot more of it okay the importance of being treated right as a child Scorpio you might have one of the significance that I had written here for you guys is that you might have had a very traumatic past. And this could be correlated to how your mom treated you as a child. Okay, heavy on mom energy correlated to how you are feeling today and what it what it is that's sitting in your stomach that has been in your stomach that what I was talking about fire and water that has been in your system for quite some time I'm getting every year there is that one season Scorpio where you feel a lot of that fire Perhaps it is in Aries season, however you want to flip it in your life. But I'm getting a lot of it in this season for you. Every year, there is that one season where you feel a lot of that irritability. Where you feel a lot of that frustration and anger, resentment, guilt, shame, fear. This is going back to our childhood because everything is rooted in our childhood is correlated to how your mom had treated you specifically in your teenage years the treatment that you got from your mom the discipline and the trauma that came with it depending on the severity of the trauma, okay? You're finding yourself in this season coming back to that. So a lot of what you are feeling in your stomach is to be healed. The frustration, the anger, the fire. You may not even be aware of why you feel such frustrations and why you feel such anger until you express to someone, until you hear yourself speak and then you go in and you go, oh, why did I just say that? 
And why did I say it in that tone? And why did I say it in that way, in that gesture? Why did I say it in that manner? Right? You're questioning yourself now. You're going in and you're thinking to yourself, I should have said that a little better. It should not have come out the way that it did. And perhaps what is voluntarily coming out is spite. You may not see it as spite from your point of view, Scorpio. But not until after you've said it, you're going in and you're asking yourself, was that spite or was that compassion? Or was it just me being passionate and just saying things out of passion? That may be so, but to everybody else, they're questioning why the attitude, why the spite, why the frustration and the anger? We want to think inner dialogue. Where are we with our inner dialogue, Scorpio? Perhaps in this season, where are we with our inner dialogue? I have written here, think, I'm getting a ringing in my right ear. I feel the need to just take a pause and um, take a moment of like silence for a second here. Think inner dialogue. Inner dialogue equals passion. Passion equals inner dialogue. We want to think passion equals inner dialogue. We may find ourselves in every season in a negative inner dialogue. Therefore, whatever is coming out of your system when you're expressing is coming from negativity. It sounds negative to other people. You may not think that it is Scorpio to you. It's fair. To you, it is, well, I am in doubt. I am, I am unsure about you. So what I am going to do is guard up. And then automatic spite. Automatic hiss. Automatic sting. Right? But to you, it is protection, Scorpio. But to other people, it does not seem like it. To other people, it seems like spite. To other people, it seems like you are the bad person. Remember what I was saying about as we grow older, our egos grow. And then we go on protecting ourselves, guarding and guarding and guarding. But from what and from who? So to you, where you are with your inner dialogue, that is also going to depend on how you're going to express yourself. How you talk to yourself is exactly how you are going to be to other people. And it's going to come with a lot of passion because fire combined with water equals passion in this season. So depending on where you are with your inner dialogue, how you are voluntarily expressing yourself to the rest, is it coming out as spite or is it coming out as compassion? Remember that there is passion in compassion and that we can choose to have passion and speak from passion than spite. But you don't even really know this. Coming back to what I was saying about this is rooted in this is rooted in your childhood, maybe. I keep going back to this is correlated to how your mom treated you. So if you had a chaotic childhood and your mom had mistreated you your mom pressured you as an adult today you're finding yourself feeling that coming to surface or maybe even after you watch this video you're going to realize that 
that is what it has been about and why you have been voluntarily letting your expressions out with a lot of fire. So, for instance, if you are operating in fear, guilt, shame, regret, judgment of yourself, what is voluntarily going to come out is spite. Does that make sense? You may not even be conscious that this is coming out as spite, but to everyone else, it does feel, more than likely feel like it is. So to everybody else, they're thinking you're out to fight them. To everyone else, they're looking at you like, why are they like that to me? What did I do to this person? Why would this person speak to me like this? You know, all, just all of a sudden, right? Scorpio is spewing out fire to everybody. It's very stingy. And everyone's like, I don't need that today from Scorpio. But everyone is questioning why is Scorpio that way? Why? What is wrong with Scorpio to make them talk like that to me? So if we are operating in fear, resentment, guilt, and shame, what is going to come out is spite. Because Aries is, is, is fire and you are water. Together, it's a lot of passion. So regardless, if you are operating in fear or operating in love, it will still come out very passionate. So depending on where you are with yourself and how you're operating fear or love, it's going to come out with a lot of passion. So if you are operating in fear, what's going to what's going to come out and voluntarily come out is spite. And if you're operating in love, what is voluntarily going to come out is compassion. But also really depending on where you are with your mind. What is voluntarily coming out of your system is passion. I feel a lot of healing that needs to happen when it comes to where we are with our mind. And it makes sense because our Scorpios are very clairvoyant people. Right? Think of your psyche. Think of where you are with your inner dialogue. Think of where you are with your mind and where you have been with your mind. Significance, voluntary, not involuntary. Your body has been involuntary, Scorpio, but this time your body is wanting to be involuntary. It's gotten to a point where you need to release because you haven't yet let yourself release. Perhaps you were a child. I'm getting that for some of us Scorpios. As a child, you were uh, silent. You were very quiet. And perhaps for some of us, you were silenced. Every time you spoke, you spoke with truth. And either somebody and your family shamed you for it. Going back to what I was saying about your mom and how your mom treated you, your mom probably shamed you for speaking the truth. Our Scorpios are revealer of truth. That is just how we are wired. And there is also something in the tone that we speak at, if that makes sense. When we speak the truth, there is volume to what we speak okay as a child you were very quiet you were shy but when you spoke it spoke with volumes you spoke with truth heavy 
there is, in fact, a lot of heavy in the truth that you speak and you used to speak of when you were a child. And because there are volumes to that, there might have been a lot in your childhood, a lot of people around you, family members, whomever shamed you for speaking the truth, who did not agree to you speaking the truth. But Scorpios are revealer of truth. We just are the way that we are and wired exactly wired the way that we, that we are. You are revealer. You are the revealer of truth. And when you speak the truth, you use up all of that passion inside of you. Perhaps you are passion, Scorpio. You are, in fact, passion. So wherever you are with yourself today as an adult, how you are operating, fear or love, that is going to come out with a lot of passion. But that's all on you. Using up all of that passion to speak your pain and your hurts and know that nobody is out to get you. What I'm getting is that in this season, what you are doing is that what you're using that passion for is to be destructive and to destroy. You're guarding up. Remember what I was saying? Guarding, 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 guarding. As we grow older, our egos grow as well. And we go on protecting ourselves, thinking that everyone's out to get us because of what happened to you in your childhood. How your mom treated you made an impact in who you are today. How your mom had treated you, how your mom talked to you, how your mom neglected you, how your mom ignored your emotions, because you have a lot of them. And perhaps that is why you're spewing out a lot of spite, because you have a lot of emotions. And if you were a child who was neglected, if you were a child, if you were that child who was abandoned and neglected emotionally, a lot of that is coming to surface in Aries season, and you're finding yourself to be in frustration and anger. Your mom never gave you the love that you deserved. Whomever it is, your mom, whoever raised you, okay? Um, it could be your mom. I'm getting also stepmother, your aunt, an older sister who took care of you, perhaps. Okay? It's more specifically, your mother, how they treated you made an impact on your mind. So as an adult, you are going against the world, thinking that the world is out to get you, but they actually aren't. There may be times when you feel like that is true, but your mind is playing tricks on you because how your mom treated you, you kept that inside of you. Because this is how my mom treated me, I'm just, I'm going to think that this is how everyone's going to treat me. Yes, it's fucked up. It's harsh. There's a lot of harsh truth to all of this. And I feel this myself. And when I say I feel a lot of frustration and irritability, I feel it strongly right now. But this is the harsh truth. This is your mind we're talking about. Your mind is your greatest tool. Your mind is your best friend. Or your enemy. Our minds can play tricks on us easily. So when we don't affirm to ourselves and where we are with our self fear or love, we're gonna get things mixed up, situations with certain people mixed up. So you might have somebody in your life who are a friend to you. Who is a friend to you and who is giving you unconditional love, but to you, you're like, no. It's like a harsh no, Scorpio. It's a harsh, hard no to you. You're thinking, that's not love. That's all fake. That's unreal. That's not love. That's what you're saying, Scorpio. That's your reaction, right? When, in fact, 
It is your mind that is playing tricks on you. The world is not out to get you. It is that you've held on to that trauma and how your mom treated you for too long and you have not yet healed from it. So now you think everyone's out to get you. Paying attention to where you are with your mind. Are you using passion to be destructive and to destroy? Or are you using passion to drive you, to motivate you to something? Work, project, self-development, healing. To you, because of how your mom treated you, to you as an adult, you're going guarding, destroy. That has become your default, perhaps. Because it's a cruel world and our Scorpios are very, very, very sensitive souls. What, what happens when, for example, when, when you're as a kid, okay, for anybody, but it comes very harshly to our Scorpios as a kid or even... At a, at a time, just remember back at a time when you felt a lot of that trauma. At that time, you were just being yourself freely. Gentle, soft, kind to everybody. But then here comes somebody trying to get you. And Scorpio, you're thinking, why is this person doing this to me? I'm just being myself. That's where the trauma started. The trauma started when your mom treated you like shit. The trauma started when your mom kept quieting you every time you spoke your truth. The trauma started every time you did speak the truth and somebody spoke over you and did not believe you, right? What happens then when all of that keeps happening to you and it just repeats and repeats and repeats and repeats. Now you feel insignificant. I, you, you're, you're starting to think, well, I can't get through people. I can't speak my truth without anybody trying to demolish me. I can't speak my truth without anyone trying to, de trying to destroy me. So now, Scorpio, you are finding yourself to be the one to destroy. You have completely, you have completely got to a point, you have completely gotten to a point where you don't trust anybody because repeatedly and repeatedly, everybody used to destroy you. I speak the truth. I am passionate. I am compassionate. And then everyone else is like, demolish, demolish, destroy, destroy Scorpio. So that is where the trauma started and you stopped believing in yourself. You stopped believing in people. You stopped being friends with people and you stopped trusting people. So what happens then when you stop trusting yourself and you stop trusting people, you shut yourself out. As we grow older, our egos grow. We go on protecting ourselves, guarding and guarding and guarding, but from what and from who? protecting your inner light in your whole life everyone's been destructive to you so now you are being destructive to everybody so what you are voluntarily spewing out and expressing to the rest maybe your friends your family whomever it is coming off as spite People are hearing it as spite and people are thinking this person has a really bad attitude. I think they really need to change it, right? That's what they're thinking. That's what they're saying. And Scorpios are like, no, I have the right to do this. I was hurt. I was in pain. This person did this to me. My mom did this to me. I deserve to have justice. But how are you going to find justice and being shitty to people for no reason? There is injustice to what happened to you. There's a lot of it. 
I feel that. It's not fair. It, it, it's not fair. It isn't fair, Scorpio. I just remember. Aries season is allowing you to be an angel. Sweet person that you are. That you have always been. The child that you knew yourself to be. Okay. But you are going against everybody thinking that everybody is against you. And wanting to fight you. But nobody actually wants to fight you. They just want to see you smile. We don't want to end up unloving to ourselves because of our trauma and how our mom treated us. We can't, in fact, change the past. But what we can do is better ourselves and not turn into these people who have been bullying you and mistreating you, Scorpio. Because you are turning into the person who used to bully you. You are turning into a bully because of what happened to you. It is not fair that you were treated as such. But it is also not fair to everybody else around you who is trying to love you. I'm sorry. It is just going to come out the way it is. So coming back to what I was saying. We want to use up all of that passion, Scorpio, to be. We want to go inward. Okay. We want to go inward and using up all of that passion to ourselves. Change the inner dialogue. Come back in. Show passions, show compassion to you. Go back in and not outwardly, come back inwardly and give yourself the compassion and the passion that you deserve, that you did not get from your mom or anyone. Let's do a practice. Sit, just, just sit for a minute and let your body be. Drop your shoulders, drop your tongue, and breathe in and breathe out. We can do this a couple times. Make sure your back is straight. And smile, Scorpio. And be intentional and in smiling.
we're gonna do a couple of deep breaths. Excuse me for the mess. <laughs> when was the last time you smiled? Genuinely, Scorpio. When was the last time you actually smiled? Genuinely. <laughs> Our mom is the number one person. Whomever raised you, they are the number one person that is going to trigger you and hurt you. And it's painful, especially if it is your mom. They were the ones that put it there. They were the ones that put the trauma there, yes? So as an adult, our goal is to get rid of it reprogram ourselves to think differently we don't want to be these bullies we do not want to turn out like our toxic mother whomever it is that raised you we gotta reprogram ourselves to be better than that and not to end up like them because they treated you like shit you are finding yourself to be in isolation right now, Scorpio, for some of you. Keep up with that back, you're straight, your back straight. Do this every day, practice this every day. Know your worth, know your value. And remember that soft and gentle is accepted here. Soft and gentle is okay. You don't always have to guard up. In fact, you don't have to. Let people be bullies. Let people be whoever the fuck they want to be. But choose Scorpio, you are better than the bullies. It is only because your light is brighter. Do not dim your light because someone else bullied you. Do not dim your light because your mom treated you as such. S don't stop believing in yourself. Believe in yourself more. Keep that back straight. Affirm to yourself, I am strong, I am capable, I am possible. You're finding yourself in Aries season, Scorpio, to be isolating more, separating yourself more, because to you, this feels lighter and brighter and not heavy on the mind, okay? Heavy emphasis on where we are with our inner dialogue, where we are with our mind. Using all of that passion that you're feeling in Aries season to get you through projects, create your creativity work. Don't let the past make you a bad person today. Don't let the past, the, pa the hurt and the pain from the past make you a bad person today. Our goal in this channel is to make you a better person so you can get back on the right track with yourself, aligning yourself with your purpose. So remember the next time you express yourself and do so do so you deserve to perhaps this is the time to to actually let it out next time you next time you express yourself make sure you're expressing yourself from your truth and not from the lies you think because your mind is playing tricks on you we want to use up all of that passion to speak and reveal the truth not to deceive yourself and to lie to yourself that this is me because of what happened to me. No. We got to change that. Well, I'm, well, I have this. Well, this is just what you're going to get. No, that's actually not who you are. You're still holding on to a lot of that pain and a lot of that 
frustration that this person had put on you. And they never apologized for it. And they didn't do anything about it. But you are now finding yourself. To be in a lot and a lot and a lot of frustration. And that is something that needs to be released. Because that is also going to get you in trouble. And even more in trouble if you don't allow yourself to be soft if you don't allow yourself to be this sweet person that you know you are you are not society <laughs> we are all individual unique individual people everybody is a temple that holds a lot of history and art and music and all kinds of beautiful things, but we are not society. We make society for what it is. So think as your think of yourself as a leader. You are in fact a leader. Your avatar is to be a leader. A policeman, a lawyer, something that gets something that has to do with law, something that has to do with like crime, investigation, right? I think of the, the show Bones, right? That kind of role, a leader, somebody who is a supporter to our community. You're not a bully. You have only become a bully because of how you were bullied. And you are and now you are passing that on to everybody else. That's not what we want to be. That's not our goal, Scorpio. We didn't even get to tarot. That's new. I love you guys. I will see you in the next keep up with the back straight. Breathe in. And breathe out and remember who you are. I love you. Stay sweet. And I'll see you in the next.